When I was a child, I saw how a man was beating another man. A thin and a small man. The big one kept the small one from his neck bent and punched him. He fell and his face encountered the sharp stony ground. The big one picked him up again, holding from his neck bent and punched him again and again. And the small man's face was scratched and miserable and desperate. And the corners of his mouth were bent down. It is strange that I can't forget even a small detail in that scene. Maybe because it was the first time I really felt I was a mortal as well. Since my birth, I've lived 21 years on the earth. And now I'm going to climb a mount. No, I'm not a mountain climber. I'm just a pilgrim that has been everywhere, but found his peace nowhere and walked on. After all these nights, when fatigue blinded my mind and a morbid and dreamless sleep was tormenting me, God had his mercy on me and showed me my mount. And I took my bandle and headed the road. Every human being, a fisherman, a mason or a soldier, whispers a prayer to lighten his anguish as he passes the way of his life. Our Lord, let me whisper my prayer too. Open this door that I knock with a soap. First time I took the road when I was eleven, when standing on a leather floor of the house, I was watching the bridge. And suddenly I told myself the truth, and I accepted it. It happened on a hot summer day. The sun was burning. I walked out of the house and I closed the door quietly behind me and nobody saw me. I was clever and dodgy. I chose that day and that time of the day and nobody noticed me. I walked a long way. I walked very long until I walked out of the city. And when I looked back, I saw the path, wet from the sweat and tears. Listen to my prayer, O Lord, that bore the fear of not going home. Open your door for me, the one that I knock with a soul. I was trying to catch a fish in a small lake. I looked up at the sky and my heart shrank. I realized how unhappy I am. The sky is so immense and it covers the whole world. But there is nothing under that sky to lighten my pain. Through the tears I looked at the sky and I saw. Drifting closer, drifting, drifting over the grove. Somewhere water is rushing, only to weep and sing along the autumn's fences. Ever to sob and soap, and ever to look up, be a child in the night. And ever to look up, only to weep and sing, and to know no loses. O cold mountain wind, you who has the fragrance of snow and time, don't harden my climb to this mount. My breath is heavy, and my step is full of fatigue, but I must climb. God lives on the top of this mount. I want to ask him for the broken vest.
My strong pilgrim feet bent before the mound. I looked up, and the top seemed so close. I was tired. I was so tired. To fall asleep on the mound, and to hear its breath. That is yours somewhere near, my lord. And I broke into the search of God, and I couldn't find. I walked and I couldn't find, and the despair pushed out the hope. Through my despair, I turned to him with an ancient prayer. Help, so I will not be unfruitful in this task, like the plant vainly sowing seeds into barren ground. And only when I felt the breath of the mound once more, I put my ear to the soil and heard the price of my tranquility. Five thousand trees must be planted, and seven thousand streams must be dredged. Ten thousand fields should be ploughed and watered by sweat. So much, so until the indifference of the wonder didn't leak out of me. Until every wonder was fed with the harvest from my trees. <laughs>